You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. That wasn't my idea. I'd be concerned if it was. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. You left the Templars for this. You believe the Inquisition can work? I do. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. I hadn't planned on it, no. Then I shall spare you. Ah, there's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. You traveled some distance to reach Haven. You're from the Circle in Ostwick? I was. It's exciting, being away from that life, being somewhere new. Maybe that's selfish, given what's happened. No, it's only fair, I suppose. We are grateful for your assistance. Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. I should get to know you better. We're working together after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? I grew up in Ferelden, near Homwood. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the Blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the Breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? You who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. What happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order. But Red Lyrian had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion. Turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition. 
largely at the barracks and systems. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. I'll let you return to your work. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Do you need something? May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. Do you really believe the Chantry is worth preserving? If you ask my opinion, it is. Absolutely. Cast the Chantry aside and new problems replace old ones. We will have learned nothing from history. The people need stability, and the Chantry needs a new purpose. Andraste had a dream for us. It can still be achieved. So what should that new purpose be? A dedication to what is truly important. Instead of building cathedrals and sewing gowns for the divine, the Chantry used to spend its coin feeding the poor. If we are to spread the Maker's word across the world, we must do so with open hearts and open hands. That sounds rather idealistic of you. Does it? I do not think it's so unachievable. The Chantry has many good, honest people. They just need direction and inspiration. They need to be freed from centuries of adherence to tradition and ceremony. A chance for renewal is at our fingertips. It does not have to come with utter chaos. Will the Chantry replace Divine Justinian? They will try. Once the priests withdraw for the Grand Consensus, it is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new Divine. Sometimes it takes days or weeks, or even months. The problem now is that no clear successor to Justinia exists. All worthy clerics died with her at the conclave. So what happens if they can't agree on someone? Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. Practically, however, if the grand consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumb. Any cleric with ambition but little sense will see this as her one chance and plenty of such clerics exist. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. I am no longer in a position to follow blindly and no new divine could expect such obedience now. Thank you. Do you need something? Can you tell me more about the Seekers? The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? But what are Seekers exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine, and not even her, truthfully. So the Seekers commanded the Templars? No, the Order didn't assume command until after the Rebellion. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. You think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hand. You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. 
A Templar's abilities come from lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, so that depends on the individual. What kind of gifts do you have? I can set delirium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Some seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a seeker who could use it to kill. That particular gift is considered rare. How does someone become a seeker? Most seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older, an exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the right every seeker must go through in order to summon their gifts. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. Was it some kind of magic? I don't fully understand it, to be honest. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never need... I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. I have no more questions. quick to dismiss the people who saved your life. So this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Hear that? I meant the stronghold, but it sounded like... Well, it's funny, right? Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. I'm pretty sure the Conclave proved it's not that easy. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Why? Because someone yelled it real loud. Make them prove it. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. Right. They should know it's a simple job. 
End all war, stitch the sky. The easy one first, of course. <laughs> You're daft, yeah? Most people get special, they lose their snark. Can't see how stupid it all is. I think I like you, Lord Herald. Maybe you're a little chosen, yeah? I'm ready to give it a shot. That's all I can ask from anyone else. I'm in. It's an investment, yeah? Better pay off, too. Stupid war and everything. I had things to do. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Fact. You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats, I guess. Are you just about pranks and revenge? Or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? I grease the ballroom, so a wyvern chasing git has to hunt springs. Strangely, handmaids leave his vault open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall so someone gets something else. Pish, pish, pish. A lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead, if they deserve it. I'm glad I met you before someone decided what I deserved. You're no hate for last so far. I I'd just get you with a pie or something. Anyway, assassin's a bard's job, innit? No fun, that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shy at singing. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, they wouldn't be much use. That's sort of the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers, right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it. Right in the... Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. In a million little ways. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? Uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works, most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. To be clear, I'm not into that. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Pay or the Inquisition. <laughs> Is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Dunno. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, red is scary because blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. So, do you take turns leading, or something like that? There's nothing to lead. Put a few favors in, take a few out. Stop, and you cut yourself out. Other than that, we stay out of each other's way. Probably best. Some are right. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Champions of the just, blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? Don't ask me. I'm as baffled as you are. Then we can only guess at what he wants. 
The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come. To work, then. It's true. Butler has stunned on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the reports. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Wait. What are you doing? He betrayed us. He murdered my agent. And you'd kill him? Just like that? You find fault with my decision? I'm sure most of your decisions are fine, but that one? A little extreme. Extreme? Butler's betrayal put our agents in danger. I condemned one man to save dozens. I may not like what I do, but it must be done. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this. I expected better from the Inquisition, Spymaster. You've made that point clear. Apprehend Butler, but see that he lives. Now, if you're happy, I have more work to do. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere. But to do what? My reports have been... very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the Mages in Redcliffe instead. You'd think the Mage Rebellion is more united. It could be ten times worse. I could at least find out what the Mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. So it'll be dangerous. 
I've been in danger since I walked out of the Fade. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. So you're telling me this because... The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Let's see what we have. All right. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador, if she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the bridge. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How's Durelion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? 
It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No, no. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His Grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. We will study that. Good day to you. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norlay. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Liliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say, the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but Orlesians are fond of playful touches. Tell me how you came to work for the Inquisition again. I'd been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. There's such unrest in Thedas, and the Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. It's to everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. So was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt, and that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to full-scale war. I can only imagine the bloodshed if it escalates further. I'm afraid history holds many examples of what will happen if it does. What business are the Montilliers in, exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore. Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. That's where our families have met before. Perhaps. Everyone of distinction in the Free Marches attends Lady Trevelyan's summer balls. Great Aunt Lucille always did love a party. I don't recall seeing you at any of them. I was less than sterling company when I was younger. Modest in temper, bold indeed. You know the Trevelyan family motto? Heraldry is a passion of mine. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. 
How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these once to those in need. Let's speak later. Farewell. These truths the Maker has revealed to me, as there is but one world. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comitius Aclasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Tevinter mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Ein Bull. He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you.
Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivienne. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Do you have the potion? Here you go. The potion and instructions on how to make it. Silas, bless you. Or the maker. Or whoever. It, it doesn't matter. Just thank you. I'll give it to her right away. If ever I can help the Inquisition, you have my word. Pass round what you found. No one will go hungry.
if those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defenses. I've got a few ideas. I've built watchtowers in the areas you recommended. Nicely done. That'll give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit. I'll speak to the master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. Elena says you got rid of those demon-cursed wolves. Should be safer for our farmers now. You've held up your end of our bargain, Inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with it. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. Farewell. Watch yourself, Inquisition. Word for you. Word for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Not us. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said. Ah! That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come.
sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I'm here investigating Grey Wardens for the Inquisition. We're seeing if their disappearance has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. Not here to accuse, not yet. I just need information. I've only found you. Where are the rest? I haven't seen any Wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no Blight coming. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire. Make you better than you think you are. You're no help. I'm no further ahead than I was. Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This Warden walks with the Inquisition. Searching the nave wishes to verify that the infection. 